What's up, guys? Quick announcement. I'm going to leave a uh, time frame in the description. It shows where the main part of this whole quest really kind of correlates around. You have to find these guys who are forging the copper into Quicksilver, whatever, and all that. You know what I mean? So I'm going to leave the location inside this video. I'm going to put a time frame in the description for you guys. And you might be able to skip through this whole quest thing. But that's on you because you know how buggy this game could be. But I haven't tried this. Maybe you guys can try this. It might just make things life a whole lot easier for you. You just go to the location, you find the guy who's doing the whole thing, the whole mastermind, and go from there. You know what I mean? So I'll leave it at that. Enjoy, guys. What's up, guys? Tutorial here today for the quest that says all the glycerins or glissers. Well, when you get your quest, you know you have to go to Sasu and you have to talk to the blacksmith. Or you have to figure out who's making Quicksilver. So the best thing to do is go to a blacksmith. That's what you're going to want to do is question all the blacksmiths inside Sasu. So I came to this guy, question him, ask him every question of dialogue about copper or gold, um, quicksilver and copper and just ask him every question and he'll spill you information, information. This first guy doesn't really tell me much, but he tells me about other blacksmiths. So then after I'm done, I'm done talking to this guy, I'll go on and I'll talk to other blacksmiths. So I'm here, I found the other blacksmith in Sasu, just a little more up north. You see him and I ask him, and then I ask him the questions about copper, who do you know, what do you know about copper, you know, who works with copper, and he'll tell me this guy, he'll give you a lead about some guy named, uh, I think Zach. Yeah, Zach. Yes, he says he works by the construction of the church. So he'll be, actually, Zach will be the blacksmith you have to go to. Which is like, if you look up on, on top of Sasu, there's a city called Monastery. Well, he, just below Monastery is a little blacksmith. And that's where you have to go. That's where you will find Zack. Don't forget to ask this guy every question and every dialogue to get anything, any information spilled out. So I'm arriving to that blacksmith's uh, spot where he's supposed to be by the monastery. And um, see, I haven't found any leads yet for the mission to continue. So what you have to do is go talk to this guy, Zach. Talk to Zach by the monastery. He, usually, he arrives there around 8 o'clock in the morning, as you can see right here. He'll be right there waiting. You're going to talk to him. T talk to that guy right there, Zach. You're going to question him. Question, ask him every question, every dialogue. And eventually he's going to tell you, hey, I don't know nothing, but, you know, talk to my son or his apprentice, whatever. That guy that's right behind him. So after you're done talking to him, you'll talk to his son or that little pipsqueak right there. And um, he'll, he'll, he won't end up telling you nothing as well. Or as for me, he didn't. Yeah, so other than that, just keep asking him questions. Ask him every single thing, every dialogue. Get everything off of them, get the side quests off of them. And yeah. So I asked him every question, I told him some things. So then I go talk to this guy, Vitas. Virtus? Vitas? He won't tell me nothing. He thinks he has balls, so he tries to fight me, you know. It doesn't end too well for him, as you'll see. But he'll spill me information, and I think his father, yeah, he rats his father out. 
basically tells you, oh, he knows, he does know, he does know, he's lying. So then you go back and talk to Zach again, standing behind you. So then I'll talk to him and I tell him, hey, bud, you do know. What do you know about that copper? Mm. Yeah, your son conf confessed. Ask him everything. Tell him, all tell him everything I'm telling him. I know I was looking around for a while. And I just couldn't figure out who to talk to. Well, this is the guy you talk to, Zach. He'll just tell you all the information. One thing, too, he'll give you is a side quest. He'll give you a side quest right now you'll see ahead called Rattled. I'm not sure if this affects the main quest in any way whatsoever. But I chose to do it because it, it has to do with Copper. So he'll tell you information about finding this guy named Rapata on this and that. And he'll tell you, I don't know. Well, we'll get to that later, but yes, you get the side mission from this guy called Rattled. I ended up doing it just in case because I don't want to leave nothing out for you guys. I'm, I, it might affect the main quest if you're having trouble, so I did it anyways. So what's going to happen now is um, you're going to go back in town. I'm going to talk to that blacksmith I first talked to and basically challenge him to a duel. I'll challenge him to a duel and you have to wait till it's sunlight to actually fight him. So I speed up this a little bit. I ask him and then I do the, I do the side quest rattled. I start I start doing that and I complete it later. And after you talk to him, you want to talk to the bailiff and tell him, hey, yo, I'm going to start a challenge with this guy. We're going to fight, you know, in front of the whole town. And tell you, okay, okay, come back when it's sun, when the sun shines. So I'll come back. I come back by tomorrow, which you'll see in the later right now on the clip. I come back the next day to finish it. Next day. 
Okay, so as you know, right before this, right before I talked to this blacksmith, Zach, the blacksmith I just talked to, he really doesn't give me no leads. So I actually found this guy randomly, and you need to talk to this this man named Master Fresco. He's a painter, and I found him at the lodge, actually drinking L. Right there, see where the stars at? Right there, lodgings. That's where I found him. He'll be sitting right there. I'll speed this up. Probably gonna be speeding through this whole video. This is the, that man right there in the red coat. This man right here is the man you need to talk to. He tells you the information for the next part of your quest. Talk to Master Fresco Painter. A pop up a new for a new objective in your quest, and tell you to go talk to the overseer in the monastery. So after I was done talking to him, I'm going to start heading up toward the monastery and talk to the overseer. Now it says investigating the overseer, investigate the overseer. I don't know why I was looking around his office for a while. You don't have to find anything in his office. All you got to do is talk to that priest looking guy right there sitting down. I was looking around for like an hour trying to find some kind of scroll, maybe a note. Well, no, don't do that. Just talk to him, ask him a quicksilver, and he says, talk to my assistant. So you're going to have to find this little guy. This is the man right here you're going to have to find. That's his assistant, Overseer's Hand. You talk to him and he's going to spill you information about Quicksilver. I tell him the Master Painter, then I don't have any. I persuade him, I have such high strength, I persuaded him. You can get your strength up real high if you just train with Captain Bernard for like a full day. Dude, it goes up fast. But uh, yeah. He tells me information and it leads me on to the next objective for my quest. See, then you have to go find. He'll tell you lead to lead you to talk to some guy named Sir Jerzerik. Jerzerik. Ask him everything, you know. I know a lot of people sometimes, you know how these quests are bugged up, you know, just ask him, ask him everything. This game's a little buggy, so you want to ask everything. So then from here on, I go, and I talk to this man, Tobias Fevier, which was marked on my objective after. And this is right before I complete the side quest rattled. I'm about to I'm about to complete the side quest rattled. The reason why I have to complete that is because this game is really buggy. So I just it had and it correlated with the main quest. So I, I just thought it would be a good idea to complete it so nothing messes up or something. So yeah, you'll talk to this man, tell him ask him everything, every dialogue. And I'm doing this all in order of how I started this quest and how I'm completing it. So try to follow through everything I did. Maybe if you're having trouble, just do exactly what I did. So once I'm done talking to him, get some more information. He says, go, he'll refer me to go talk to somebody else. So then I talk to this guy, the bailiff, and I set up the fight duel with the other blacksmith so I can complete the quest, the rattled or rattled quest. Okay, so after I was done talking to that Toby guy that was inside that building I just walked out of before the duel, he's going to send you to a lead, and then you go talk to this man. He's the uh, 
I don't know what he is technically. I have to wait in the video to see what he was. But I'm going to him. You should you should get the marker on your uh on your map though. And you go there and you talk to him. And you ask him you ask him every other question. Every dialogue. You've probably seen this guy before if you've done the earlier main quest. You have to go to this guy before too. Or a side quest for Lady Stephanie. Doing the side quest for Lady Stephanie, you'll you'll be familiar with this guy. You talk to him, get the information from him, and yeah. Make sure you ask him everything. Cause even though this is a great game, you know, there could be little bugs. So ask him everything. Everybody you talk to, just ask him everything. So now, right there, Florian, you get mark. You should get this marked on your map too. Tell you to go talk to this guy, Florian. Talk to his little apprentice, and then uh, you can just get the information off that guy. Persuade him or whatever. I think that's what I did. I scared him with my strength. And he's gonna tell you about some guy named Rapota. And he's gonna be waiting outside. Who you'll see too. I don't know if you ever slow down. And look at the dialogue, but he'll say he's by the grocery or he waits across the street from his house. Well, I found I haven't find him after we're done speaking here. I find him outside by the grocery. Yeah, and he tells me this whole thing. I think it starts another side quest, but I don't end up doing it. I think I persuaded him here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Then I see Rapota outside. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, it didn't start a side quest. Okay. So, um. Yeah, after I was going to talk to him, then I'm going to go outside and talk to um, see Rapota. He'll be this guy. He'll be wearing this yellow like coat over his shoulders. And he's going to try to book it. You'll see right now. So I see him right here. You see him right there, walking right there. Yeah, he's right by the grocer. I seen him. I was like, "Oh, okay. I need to get on tell and talk to him." So I end up talk to him. I question him. I tell him these things. You know, that's to do with the quest. And um, I thought I was talk to him. For some reason he tries to run. He thinks that's gonna work. It ain't gonna work on me.
Okay, so he runs, takes off. I'm like, hell no. I tried to get on, and you could tell he fell. His, I sock him off his horse one time. He gets off. Boom. And he surrenders. I question him. And he'll give you another lead, which should be marked on your request, your request marker. So basically, somehow I failed the quest objective. I don't know why. I said failed, failed to find out who makes the copper. Uh, I mean, I don't know how I failed it, but uh, yeah, like this game I said is bugged. I guess. So, but I know, I know they're working hard to really, they're working hard to really fix it up and stuff, you know, I mean, shit. People make games, RPGs, they don't really make them like this game, you know? I feel like it's the RPG, but you're more like you're locked in RPG. Even though I know you're Henry, you know, you gotta be Henry, but I mean, you actually feel like a human being, you know? Question him, ask him everything, tell him everything, everything. Even though it's already marked on my map, probably. I always just, I just ask everything. And he tells me, oh, you let me go or kill me now. I tell him no. He really get hanged. Because uh, in my role play, I have, uh, basically, I live by the, I'm a law-abiding citizen. I used to be a criminal. I went to jail, and I learned my lesson from that. I said, you know what? Dude, I'm going to change my life around. I'm going to work for Sir Razig and all that. So, yeah, th here's the camp as you're approaching. So, I went and go ahead and added the location of the bandit camp. This is where the forgery guy is going to be at. So, you might be able to skip through everything and just to handle and complete the mission. But I'll just go in here, actually. But that's a chance you take. You can go through everything that I put before this moment. Oh, I'll also put this in the description. Right here, that's where the camp is at. You're going to see it switch to daytime and nighttime because I had to go back and find the location for you guys. But this is the location of the camp of where the for the guy who's making all these forgeries, this is where he's at inside there, all the way in the back. So, make it simple for you guys, you know. This is me at nighttime doing it. That's why it looks different from another gameplay I did. But yeah. Yeah, so now you're like basically ending towards the uh, end of this quest. Now the hard part's already done. You found the guy, you turned him in. So now you're gonna go back and talk to uh, Sir Razig. 
you're going to you talk to Sir Razig and he's going to be having to tell you as you'll see he wants you to interrogate the guy so he takes Captain Bernard out of charge and he wants you to interrogate him so he tells you go get the cell key from uh, Captain Bernard so then you're going to go get the cell key from Captain Bernard and um you go and you're going to lead on the interrogation See, I'm still on the quest, all that glisters. So I I got I found Sarazig, talked to him. And he wants me to interrogate him. Man, it's funny. Yeah, okay, so now you get the key. Captain Bernard should be in his little office, always laying down. He's always sleeping in there. So after you get the key, you have to go to the guy and interrogate him in his prison chamber. Well, I, I was I was struggling just trying to find the guy for some reason. He's actually in a prison cell. He's in between the armorer and the tailor, right in the right where the scribe is at, right there. He's right there in the scribe's office. Just take a left and then take a right, and I guess that's the prison. I was I don't know why I just couldn't find it. I was just like, what the fuck? You know, he's glitching the ground. But I found this fat ass and uh. Yeah, there he is, interrogate him and fucking tell him he's gonna fucking do all the fucking, have to pay for his fucking crimes. Dialogue, dialogue, dialogue. I know I've made some tutorials, and a lot of people are telling me certain uh, in the comments about uh, a lot of these their quests were being bugged up, and I or they were trying to talk to certain people, and they weren't trying to talk to them, and just like they, said they, talk to everybody they the say they talk to everybody, person. on accident, which but, is hard to happen. A lot of people need to talk to sometimes in the quest. Yeah, you gotta, you know. Try to talk to every single buddy and ask them every dialogue. Anyone that's involved around the area, you know, you have to talk to them. Because uh, these quests, they make you put in your time, you know. Most quests, some, some of these quests, they, uh, they're time consuming, but yeah, that's how it is. I've had a few people tell me they, they've talked to everybody, but they forgot one key person that they might have not even had to talk to, but the way the game is set up, you have to talk to them, you know. So it's easy, it, it's easy to miss somebody, and I I understand. I understand. Trust me, I understand your frustration. I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna pay. You're gonna hang. You're gonna hang. It's funny, this guy looks like my neighbor. I don't know why. The guy in prison. Okay, weird. Alright. There it is. This is towards this is the ending of the quest now. You talk to him. And he'll tell you, there you go. Only 175 groschen for all that shit. Now I'm started on to the next quest. Find him, beat him. Yeah. It was a long quest. Hopefully this helped you guys out. You know, if you still need help, 
leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know. I'll try to help you the best I can. I really appreciate if I just helped you. If you give me a subscribe, it really helps this channel grow out. Other than that, I'm just glad to help. Peace out.